everyone, welcome to Halloween Month Movie Reviews. <laughs> we are continuing with the Halloween Town Trilogy and Return to Halloween Town. Okay, let's get this started. So, the plot of... The, we're gonna start with the original trilogy, then we're gonna start with the uh, then we'll do the unnecessary fourth installment. But anyways, so the basic story of Halloween Town One is Marnie and Dylan and Sophie Piper have their first out of many adventures. On Halloween, while Marnie is arguing with her mother Gwen, the kid's grandmother Aggie comes to visit. Aggie wants to start Marnie's witch training before her 13th birthday or Marnie will lose her powers forever. But there is another reason for Aggie's visit. Something dark and evil is growing in Halloween Town, and Aggie wants help to defeat it. While Aggie and Gwen are arguing, Aggie uses magic which Marnie observes. After Aggie leaves to return to Halloween Town, Dylan, Marnie, and unknown to Marnie and Dylan and Sophie follow her on the return bus. Soon afterwards, Gwen falls to her to Halloween Town, while there, Aggie and Gwen are attacked by a dark force in the movie theater, and then Marnie and Dylan and Sophie race to get the ingredients to activate Morlin's wand to stop the evil. This first Halloween Town I really do love. I think it's very well done. I think there's a lot of great moments in here. This such a great introduction to the Halloween Town series. Or trilogy, because I'm not calling it a, a, ser a series anymore. <clears throat> or anyways, the acting in this movie, Debbie Reynolds, Kimberly J. Brown, two main standouts in this movie, as well as Judith Hogg and Joey Paul, Zimmer Paul Zimmerman. <clears throat> they also shines. Calabar is played by Robin Thomas, and he is great as the as the character. And you got the sister Sophie played by Emily Rosick. I think the acting here is is fine for what it is. It's great. <laughs> and there are times where this movie does get a little slow. It's only an hour and twenty four minutes. But I, but you have is setting up the world. And and um, this movie. This was Kimberly J. Brown's first Disney Channel movie, so that is a plus for her. The makeup effects on the creatures of Halloween Town, the look of Halloween Town is just great. I, I like it. I, I love it. It's just very cool. And this is a cute film to watch with your family, but this movie is very good. It's not a biography film or a documentary. It has every right to take artistic license when portraying the fantastical world, witches and wizards, all that. And but this film is still a classic movie and a great start to the Halloween Town trilogy. So for that alone, Halloween Town one will get an epitastic because it's a fun movie it's a fun time all right let's move on halloween town 2 calabar's revenge is the second movie in the halloween town trilogy and this is directed by Mary Lambert, and the plot of this one is the Cromwell's clan lives in the real world except for their grandmother, who lives in Halloween Town, which is a place where monsters go to escape reality, but the son of the Cromwell's old enemy, Calabar, has planned to use the grandmother's book to turn the Cromwell's old enemy. I mean, to turn Halloween Town into a gray, dreary version of the real world while transforming the denizens of the real world into monsters. So only Marnie and um, Aggie can stop there. I like this more than the first one. I still like the first one, but um, that movie is a little. The movie did get a little boring. That's because it was setting up the, the world, which is what 
a movie trilogy or a series should do. Set up your characters, set up your world. But, this movie is... It's really good! I like it. I like it a lot. I like the chemistry between Kim and Lee J. Brown and Debbie Reynolds in this movie. They still are great, as usual. You also got J. J Paul Zimmerman and Emily Rosick, as well as Judith Hogue back and ca other cast members. There's a lot of cast members, I'm not going to read off the entire list. But all the acting in this movie is great. Um, the the comedy is still there. The co comedy is uh, still there. This film had a much darker tone than the rest of the series, and and so I like the I like the humor. The the comedy is there when it's it's funny. It actually knows what it's doing. Cinematography looks nice. Makeup and production design is fantastic. I do have one problem, and that is that it is a it is sort of familiar to the first film, but in this movie's case, just like Star Wars, I have no problem with it. But again, the main standout here is Kim Lee J. Brown. I do love the the music in the movie and the makeup. Is, and the effects on the creatures are still great and well done. So, I will give this movie. Um, I'm not taking too long on this, these reviews because I'm going, because I'm just going to make this into a trilogy review, edit all three of these parts and put them together. So, yeah, that's how it's going to be. But anyways, I will give Hall Halloween Town 2 an epic tastic as well. I'll see you guys in Halloween Town High. Halloween Town High is the third movie in the Halloween Town series, the last film to have Kim Lee J. Brown, and it is the last movie to have Emily Rosick. So the plot of Halloween Town High is Marnie and her friends from Halloween Town are back in this film. So Marnie is a teenage witch living with her family of supernatural beings in the village of Halloween Town. Marnie and her pals are interested in attending high school in the nearby mortal community where they'll be able to spend more time with kids their age and with the help of the grandmother Aggie she's able to convince the town council to go along with the suggestion. But there is a catch. If anything dangerous happens as a result of their presence in the moral school, Marnie and her friends will lose their magical talents. So trouble does make its way to the school but not in a way anyone expected. The Knight of the Arrow and Dagger comes to the mortal world determined to wipe out Marnie and her magical companions and so Marnie and her and her friends must stop it. This one is my favorite of the trilogy. This one is my favorite. It it's really fun. I have a lot of fun with this one. This is pretty lighthearted. And I like that when it's lighthearted. Now the actors in this movie, like I said, Kim Lee J. Brown, this is her final appearance in the Halloween Town films. You get Debbie Reynolds in this movie, Judith Hogg, J. Paul Zimmerman, and Emily Rosick in her final appearance in a Halloween Town film as well. Finn Wittrock is plays Cody. I like the chemistry, the relationship that they were building up between Marty and Cody, but sadly that doesn't get a payoff because the next film is I'm just uh, we'll get to it. But you got then you got two High School Musical actors in here. You got Alicia Rulin who plays Natalie the Pink Troll. She played Kelsey in the High School Musical trilogy, and you got Lucas Graybill who plays Ethan the Warlock. So, it was cool seeing those two in here. 
and I know there are some people who hate High School Musical, but there are people like me who loves High School Musical. I will continue to love High School Musical, even though we have a fourth one, which I'm not all that happy about, but I'll give it a chance, because, like I said, I'm a fan of High School Musical, but anyway, <laughs> you got the cast is great, I love all the, ca the cast, is amazing. The editing is great, I love the makeup effects, the production design is great, sound effects are great, the special effects are fan fantastic, the music is also really good too, especially the song that plays at the end, I like that, and this was a great send off, this is where Halloween Town should have ended, but no. We had we got another one of these movies, and unfortunately for that movie, it is like a freaking. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You also got Todd Michael Schwartzman, who is also in the High School Musical series, and so after this movie was the second film received criticism from being too dark this one was more family friendly and i like that <laughs> but yeah this is where halloween town should have ended i know there's fans of halloween town 4 i don't agree i still don't g agree get it but <laughs> this film is all right this no this film is more this is awesome and this movie is going to get my JD Rainbow Silver approval. So, I will catch you guys in Return to Halloween Town. And that's going to be a rant. So, look, be on the lookout for that. Let me know what you think of this trilogy down below. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Have you seen it? What's your favorite? What's your least favorite? Please let it be Return to Halloween Town. But anyways... I'll see you guys.